My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Infinity Train Book 1. And this is a show that I knew nothing about but lots of people really love it. And I'm just like, you know what, I'll give it a chance. I love animated shows and movies and all that. And if I like this one well enough, maybe I'll check out some other Cartoon Network shows that are well loved. Like Adventure Time or things like that. So. I decided to give this show a chance and I have to say it's not for me. I was planning to review the entire show but I'm just tapping it out here. I'm not going to like the rest. I didn't like this. I don't have a lot of positives or negative to say about this show. It's just not my thing. And after this I'm not going to watch the other Cartoon Network shows that I was thinking about watching except I did watch one over the garden wall and my review for that will be coming out in a few months I think. It's all scheduled up but um, that one is great. But anyways, uh, this one, I don't know, I just watched it and it did nothing for me. I understand why some people might like it because it kind of on the surface is a typical kid show. Some challenges they have to overcome but there is something deeper to the character and the arc she goes on in her accepting her life for what it is. There is a slight element of Coraline in the lesson she loans, but I don't really think it was done in an effective manner. I never really cared about the characters and look, I love Ashley Johnson. I think she gives one of the greatest performances ever, period, in Last of Us Part 2. Her work in that game is just phenomenal and her work in the first game as well, but I just don't think her voice matched how her character looked. It kept taking me out of it. And I'm trying to think of what else I can really say about this. Uh, the animation didn't really impress me. Like there was definitely imagination and originality on display, but it's just not engaging enough for me to latch onto. It just felt like a kid's show and didn't really work for me. I'm not going to drag this review out. It's uh, very simple. It's very, you know, to the task. If I I'm going to talk a bit more about it. I guess I'll say the reflection episode to me was clearly the best one and I can say I appreciate some of what they're doing but once again just not for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give Infinity Train book one a 4 out of 10. But uh, did you watch Infinity Train book one? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for some more videos soon and Gavin out.